This is a presentation of Chapter 5, Section 1 in the 7th grade textbook, The Coordinate Plane. Go ahead and start off with the definitions here. Uh, start off with the definition of what the coordinate plane is. That's a plane formed by the intersection of a horizontal number line called the x-axis and a vertical number line called the y-axis. The coordinate plane is a plane formed by the intersection of a horizontal number line called the x-axis and a vertical number line called the y-axis. x-axis is the horizontal axis on the coordinate plane, while the y-axis is the vertical axis on the coordinate plane. The x-axis is the horizontal axis on the coordinate plane. The y-axis is the vertical axis on a coordinate plane. So you have two number lines that meet at a right angle. This one that runs across the page from left to right is called the x-axis. And the number line that runs up and down across the page, that's called the y-axis. And the x and the y-axis together form the coordinate plane. Now the number lines are pretty basic because the x-axis one is set up just like a traditional number line and where that intersection point is with the y-axis, that's the point zero. So the positive numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are going to be out here to the left. The negative numbers are going to be out here to the left. I'm sorry, positive numbers should be to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative numbers to the left, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. The y-axis, we just need some orientation. Where it intersects with the x-axis, that is also zero, so that should be easy to figure out. And that number line with the positives is actually going to be up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 face up, and the negatives face down. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5 down. The origin is the point where the x and the y-axis intersect on the coordinate plane, named by the point 0, 0. So this point right here that we've marked at 0, that point there is the origin. And in terms of a coordinate pair, we would write 0, 0 to identify. And we'll talk about what that means in a second. Quadrant is the x and y axes dividing the coordinate plane into four regions. Each region is a quadrant. The x and y axes divide the coordinate plane into four regions. Each region is a quadrant. So what you have here are four different quadrants. Quadrants are simply a way we can name the location of any point on the coordinate grid. This one up here is the primary quadrant. That's quadrant 1. And we name those with Roman numerals. And then the numbering goes counterclockwise. So any point up here will set to be in quadrant 2. Any point down here will be in quadrant 3. And any point down here will end up being in quadrant 4. And then ordered pair. That's a pair of numbers that can be used to locate a point on a coordinate plane. So, for instance, if I put a point right here in quadrant 1, all right, we can say more about it other than it's in quadrant 1. It's going to correspond with something on the x-axis and something with, on the y-axis. When we write that x-axis number matched up with the y-axis number in that particular order, that is an ordered pair. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. In question number one, they're asking me to identify the quadrant that contains each point. So all I'm doing is naming which quadrant the point is in. Again, as recalling from what we just talked about, this upper right quadrant, that's the primary quadrant, that's quadrant one. And from there, the numbers go counterclockwise. This is quadrant two. Down here, you'll find quadrant three. And this bottom right corner is quadrant four. Ha <laughs> ha. 